Weiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against his clan, said the location was from Montenegro. Uh, I believe the clan title, though, I think it was Czechoslovakian, I want to guess. I, I am kind of guessing, or Russian. Um, either way, uh, it wasn't too exciting of a war. 2.0 really came out and just kind of mopped the floor with him. Um, take a peek and see what I mean. 71 to 57 was the score. Uh, victory for 2.0. TH10 count was the same. Uh, just these guys really struggled on uh, on getting threes on the nines, as you can see. They did use 48 of 50 attacks and gave it their best. They did get a handful of three stars in there. Uh, so good for them. Uh, did get twos on all the tens as well. So there's some successes within that uh, as well. Look at the 2.0 side, or the 2.0 attacks. Missed 1-2 on a, on a 10. Uh, 65% for Moose there. It's a it's a tough one. Got a couple triples, I believe, to show you here. And cleaned up the 9. So, fantastic job, guys. Uh, really just kind of killed it. One of these smaller wars. Uh, obviously, less room for error when, they're, uh, when you're in a smaller matchup. Anyhow, uh, let's just jump right into some of these replays here. I want to show uh, K and X, of course. Usual all-star on this uh, on the recaps here, so we're just gonna zoom out. Kanax is going to uh, try and do his usual, you know, um, giants with some wizards. Gonna open up the wall, get his heroes down. He really wants to get this air defense and the queen. Uh, gonna send in the king once these giants kind of move in there a little bit, and this queen clears some stuff out. King's gonna beat that down and, and make his way in there in a sec. Queen is about to lock on to uh, the air defense. He's got to rage up a little bit early to get through this gold storage. There it goes. King goes in. <laughs> Look at that queen. Look, what is she doing? King goes in, takes care of the defensive queen. Their job's done. He goes ahead and sends in the air attack. Hounds, two hounds per defense here. Uh, four loons, four loons, four loons, four loons. And then his patented four loons from behind are going to get dropped in a second after these hastes all go down. Other, uh, yeah, actually, sorry. That was pretty bad. Um, I, I thought that hound was already in, actually, and uh, he just dropped it now out of the CC uh, with four more loons behind it. So really looking good at this point. There's not a heck of a lot left. There's this one air defense on the back end, a couple Teslas, and a crossbow, and that's that's really all that's left that can kill air. So this hound's going to do just fine for a few more seconds while it buys these loons some time to get over top these defenses, and it's GG. Great job, KNX. Just ripped it up. Guys, I gotta apologize too. I was uh, I was pretty sick when I woke up this morning. Still not feeling very well. So just trying to bang off this recap before I can go relax for the evening. So apologies if uh, I don't sound as enthusiastic or I'm stuffed up or whatever. But uh, KNX, the monster. It's your three star. Sexy. All right. KNX gives us another one here to show. Same idea, quad lalo, suicide hero swap. So he's going to go in at this top section, just clear that army camp, sends his king in right away, opens up the wall right away. King's going to go in, queen's going to kind of clear some space. King gets held up on these buildings up here for a second, but no big deal. Takes down the cannon, locks onto the queen, queen goes down. Queen's His queen's going to just kind of make her way in there, but it doesn't matter. King gets the air defense too. What a beast. So really that portion is now complete. He's going to go ahead and send in his uh, Lava Hounds. Oh, it's a drag. Sorry. So he's waiting. Just wants this to make sure this drag goes down before he sends anything in. Rages up his queen. Drag is dead. Uh, CC is taken care of. Looking good at this point. Uh, Hound one and some loons. Hound two and then some loons. Love the two finger drops. Two loons per finger. Two loons per finger. Just two, 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 two. Just great placement. You know, like... <laughs> You guys don't realize like what how long it takes to learn placement and and pathing like this through TH10 to to make it work as well as KNX does. So nice job, buddy. Freeze goes down, just gets all the Teslas and the Inferno back there. Inferno, both Infernos are now down. Really, just has these Teslas, crossbow, another air defense, but he's got two lava hounds that are about to burst at the exact right moments because the loons are almost there. This huge pack of loons about to take out this air defense. He's got one more Tesla on the outside. It's the only thing he can really damage air now other than that Archer Tower. Looking good, KNX. Beastly attack once again. Everything's clumped up, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> As in four back end air mines. <laughs> oh, the three star again. Six star war for KNX. Solid. 
<laughs> so you'll see how KNX is, it has this theme where it really he does this suicide hero swap, uh, to get an air defense, get the queen, get their job done, and then he goes ahead and sends in a quad Lalo. Well, <clears throat> Sparta says, you know what? Screw you, KNX. I'm going to start doing this at TH9. So let's check out this. Same idea, right? Just as heroes, loons, couple wizards, uh, four lava hounds. That's it. So Sparta's going to start, just create a small funnel kind of on this side to make sure his king goes into this compartment. Oh, yeah, he takes out. Oh, no, that's right. He So he takes out, if you see that, he took out the queen. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Uh, took out the queen and an air defense with that uh, zap quake. So fantastic job there. He's going to go ahead and send his... Uh, send his other heroes in and basically just wants to get this air defense and the clan castle so uh king's just working his way in here gonna rage it up any second there it goes air defense is going down a couple more swipes there goes the air defense great cc's pulled out walking right into that poison queen's just gonna work on that gold storage for a second and then turn on the uh, turn on those cc troops no problem they're about to target her he's just gonna go ahead and rage it up and see you later, Dragon. See you later, Balloons. Beautiful. So he's got a quad Lalo now for, for two air defense in this TH9 base with like 18 balloons in the bag. So great job on this on this pace bar. That was just a sick opening. That that queen queen air defense kill. I actually didn't even see that when I just kind of was skimming the replays. I, you told me to show this attack, so I was just going to show it regardless. So I didn't really watch it in too much detail, <laughs> to be honest. But that was, that was awesome. Really cool. Um... Lava Hound's going to burst at the exact moment he needs it to. There it goes. Uh, I don't know if he does get this last one to burst, but it doesn't matter. There's no defenses left. There's a Tesla, a couple Teslas, a little Tesla farm, but just getting pincered by these balloons. Everything's going down. Bam, bam, bam. See you later, Tesla. See you later, base. Just shredded it, Sparta. Nice job, man. That was a sexy attack. That was definitely recap worthy. Um, all right, let's go back up. I skipped one that I wanted to show. Number nine. Uh, Hoodie. So, Hoodie's going to bring basically just a shattered Lalo with earthquakes. Uh, or it's more, I guess, max attack. So, he's just going to max attack in, earthquake over this spot, open up this huge section of the base. He should get, he gets two air defenses, right, and the defensive queen and the CC troops. Going to get huge value out of that kill squad, basically this whole section. He's going to take out because he's going to heal the king and the golems and the barbs from the king's rage and just gives them so much push into this base. So there goes the earthquake, just opening everything up. As you can see, definitely as the uh, queen enters here, she's going to get both air defense. Here comes the CC troops. They're locking onto the golem. So boom, here goes the king. Here goes the king. There we go. <laughs> Queen's already locked onto the poison CC troops. Drag is dead. Loons are dead in one second. There goes the heal. Oh, I cannot believe his king took a walk there. All the way over there. And he still three-starred this. I didn't see that in the replay either. I just kind of skimmed through these ones because I'm not feeling very well. So, crazy, crazy. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I guess the I guess the king's doing some tanking for the balloons. It's not necessarily a bad thing. The the, the kill squad didn't need the, uh, need the king. So, worked out because now he's on cleanup duty. And he's not going to die. All these loons are taking all the defenses out for him. So he is, uh, it kind of worked out better that way. We'll just say you meant to do that, Hoodie. <laughs> there is still two air defense up, though. Uh, all the Lava Hounds are dead. But this queen is going to slowly kind of work uh, work her way. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that one Lava Hound. So this Lava Hound scoots over now. Um, it's full health. Uh, I, it was hidden behind those balloons. I didn't even see it. Um, there's really the Wizard Tower, Cannon, and Air Defense, and Mortar. And it is GG, Hoodie. It just rocked over this base. Don't get that hound to uh, burst, but no big deal. Down goes the queen, but like I said, the king has been cleaning up this entire time. So it is GG. And that's your three star. Nice job, hoodie. Um, I had one more here to show you guys. I think it was this one? No, it was A's attack. A's attack here. <clears throat> I really thought this was a cool attack. Um, oh, my bad. Shit. 
Actually, no, it wasn't this one. It was A's other. A had a six-star war. How do I... I wrote down the wrong number here. There we are. <clears throat> okay. I like this one. <laughs> Look at this army comp. <laughs> it's like a Golaloho, we'll just call it. <laughs> uh, so two heals, a rage, a jump, a poison. He brings the whole variety of troops here. Um, I'm interested to see what goes on because it ends up using the hogs to take out some air defense. It's actually a really, really well-coordinated attack. Um, so just kind of creating the funnel right now. Two golems just working on that cannon. As soon as it's done, the wall's already open. They're going to move in towards that queen. King's going in behind it. King's going to lock onto that queen. Any second, down she goes. CC troops come out. Poison's going to go down. There it goes. Everything's slowed up. Queen's going to lock onto that stuff and take care of it in no time with the help of those wizards as well. Jump spell goes down over that just to kind of get the golems to push a little bit further out. Uh, and then he's going to commence with the uh, La Loho uh, section of the raid here. Just wants to get that one air defense. Down it goes. Perfect. Um, this one's going to take a bit to go down. So it ends up, uh, uh, I believe... Uh, set, yeah, sending the air from the top section. Just uh, a little bit of a trade. The queen was on that anyways. Just wanted to make sure it went down quickly. So here come the hogs now in this bottom section. He really wants to get them through. Drops the heal for the hogs. He's going to get these four defenses out of this and get the air defense, which is super key to this raid. Eight hogs just kind of shredding this little section of the base. And he's going to send in his lava hounds, two lava hounds, uh, and the rest of his loons. I think he had about ten, sorry, what's that, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten loons. Uh, just kind of sprinkling in on the rest of the rest of the defenses here. I mean, these level one crossbows aren't doing much. Um, one of the hounds bursts, but he still has a full health hound sitting there while these loons just kind of work their way in. He doesn't have any spells for them, um, but not a big deal. It's just just mop up time basically by by this by the time this happens. Crossbows are uh, set to ground as well, or at least that one is. No, they both are. <laughs> so that's a poor choice because uh, these loons are just going to wreck. It is mop cleanup time. Really like the uh, the planning for this one. Just eight hogs getting a huge value on those very compact defenses all under one heel is a, a really good read and a very uh, <laughs> very creative uh, troop comp, that's for sure. All right, so like I said, I'm pretty sick. So I'm just, just going to uh, call it a day for this recap. Um, we actually uh, just finished a war against North Remembers in Invicta, and uh, we're in the middle of uh, 2.0 War versus War Whales we're going on as we speak. So I got a ton of really good content coming up. Uh, unfortunately, the Invicta War did not go in our favor. However, uh, some really creative uh, plans and some uh, really nice attacks to show you. Uh, you know, North Remembers, they... Uh, they bring the heat. They are a very good clan. Hats off to them. Um, and uh, we shall see how 2.0 fares against War Whales. That's a, that's a crazy, crazy matchup. So the boys are all uh, on TeamSpeak uh, getting things planned and prepped. And going to be a lot of three stars to show you guys. So uh, that should do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.